Hey, it's Grace. This is my first video in London. Hope there isn't too much street noise, but there's not really anything I can do about it. I'm here to continue my series of tutorials of indie hits from like 10 years ago that I used to love to play, and I always wish that there was a good tutorial for it, so I'm here to make one. And today it's going to be Nante by Beirut, which is genuinely one of my favorite songs of all time. So the first thing to know about this song is that it's in like D-sharp minor slash F-sharp major, so it's kind of awkward to play on a lot of instruments. So there's a couple of options we have. We can play the whole thing barred like this. Not a big problem. I would go for the capo option. So first fret capo. You can also tune your entire instrument one half step up, but that seems like a lot of work to me, especially if you just have a capo. Whatever you're gonna use, go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna teach you the chord shapes. This is of course D sharp minor, but we're gonna call it D minor. That one. We have C sharp, there we go, C, and F, aka F sharp. That's everything you're gonna need for this song. And then of course this song doesn't actually have any ukulele in the real recording, but I have created some different strumming and picking patterns that mimic the things that are actually going on in the song. We're gonna start with picking the C string, which is the lowest string, and then the other two highest ones. Do that like that two times one bar of D minor one bar of C and two bars of F twice through and then we're gonna add another little fun thing so if you kind of roll the second two notes instead of playing them at the same time so instead of we're gonna go start this strumming pattern down 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 that's there to kind of mimic the percussion part that's going on that's the good thing about ukulele it can be very percussive times through and I'm kind of taking my hand almost as though I'm holding a pick and running it across the strings to get that sound. I find if you run all of your fingernails kind of lightly across the string you get that kind of snare sound. Which is great for mimicking drums and stuff. One of my favorite little tricks to strum. So yeah, that's four times through on that progression and then we're gonna do it one more time when it goes chorus-ish part, I'm gonna play this picking pattern. So strings three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two. Nobody raise your voices. Oh, just another night. Nobody raised 
obviously I'd probably sing this in a different key if it were up to me. But yeah, just four times through that thing. And then you come to the part where there's like the scene from the movie and people talking in French. So that's just like one time through of the progression and it's really sparse. I think it's just bass. So you can kind of just do a pull away or something. Something like that maybe. And it's just once through like that. And then it's gonna go back to the times through again of the strumming and then the outro will just be like the intro again three times through the whole song. So come back for more tutorials, originals, and covers, and I'll see you next time. Bye!